Hi, hi everyone and welcome to Eden Secret. Today we're making some multiple coloured geode bath bombs. Um, and I'm starting off with, and I think this is how I'm going to do my bath bombs from now on because I just love that geode look. It's so beautiful. I've got some lovely white silhouette ones that, that we do, that I do. Um, silhouette, no, Seychelles Paradise. And I do it with the pink um, salt and then a bit of the white salt around the edge. And so this one is going to be a beautiful pastel blue in the smell of angels. So from now on, your angel bath bombs are going to look like this. If you're wondering where I've been for the last two months, um, if you watch yesterday's video, that'll explain everything about what I've been through for, well, since June the 14th. Um, but I don't want to dwell on that. I just thought I would do a separate video and then anybody that wants to know can just click on that video. To find out what was wrong with me or still what is wrong with me I'm actually not fixed yet but we're gonna we're gonna investigate anyway so there you go just a spoonful of the pink then pop a spoonful of the white around the outside and then I'm putting some two deep blue embeds in the center I like to just sprinkle over the embeds with some bath bomb dust and then that kind of I'm not saying it'll always do this but it stops any of the embed color showing on the outside of the bath bomb I, I don't know about you but I think the geode bath bombs are are the nicest looking bath bombs out there what do you think so just press your your salt down there I like to just use the dry salt I don't like using dead sea salt it absorbs moisture terribly uh, so it's no good for bath bombs. So the recipe's in the description box and that will make... 15 200 gram bath bombs and the bath bomb molds I'm using here are the seven centimeter aluminium bath bomb molds if you type that into Google search you might be able to find some you might not just the look of the draw so this smell is absolutely gorgeous and it's magical fun land from uh, blossom oils um supposed to re remind you of um i don't know if it's the magic kingdom but definitely disney world and it is very very nice uh but can't say it really reminds me of the magic kingdom uh but it's a beautiful fragrance so we've got a lovely peachy design going on for this one and then I always think pink and purple look really nice together. So I'm popping a couple of, actually they look black. Yeah, they're black, aren't they? I thought they were violet. So we're going with red, red embeds for this one. I need to make some more embeds desperately. So 
So I'll just get these salts from Home Bargains. It's just normal. I think it's called chunky. Uh, well, it'll be on the bottle, Karen. Coarse sea salt. It doesn't come pink. I just put some blush pink mica on them. This is what they look like in the natural form, just white like that. So you can colour them any colour you want to with some mica. So as you're watching today, I'll actually be unmoulding these tomorrow, but you'll see that in today's video. And I might even do a demo of one at the end, so you do like to see the bath bomb demos, and I have to say, so do I. If you want to see how I made the embers, click the information card in the top right hand corner of the screen now. Pretty easy to make them, very easy. When you put the salt in, you don't need to be too perfect because you want it kind of a rough rough edged circle you don't want a perfect circle it looks better if it's it's uneven so I'm doing just over half a teaspoonful of the pink and then sprinkling a tiny bit of the white around the outside you can press them down like this if you want to and then you lose less of the salt uh, when you want mold but the beauty of a geode is to lose some of the salt uh, looks more like a geode if you do that And all these colours look absolutely gorgeous with gold and they'd look gorgeous with silver as well. Uh, if you wanted to do like a silver geode instead of uh, trimming it, painting it with the gold. So I guess you can do any colour salt that you want to do as well. But you know how much I like my pastels. And because the embeds are to one end of the, the bath bomb, the bath bomb should spin. So that'll do for this colour and we'll be back in a second for the next colour. I wonder what I'm going to go with next. Okay, so now we're on with the, the rose ones. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Oh, 
Okay, so now we're on with the rose one. So it's going to be pink and white salt with a pink bath bomb and a red ember. So this one is fresh cut roses, which has always been popular here. Now I used to use English rose from Just A Soap. I don't know if they still do it. When I first started, if you ever bought anything from me that was called English rose, that was the fragrance I used to buy. But then I discovered fresh cut roses from Nature's Garden. And it's so beautiful. It's like, I know, I know I've said it loads of times, but it's like dewy rose. It's like rose petals with water dew on them. So we're popping red embeds in there so we get a nice, probably very pink bath. And then everything is going to coordinate together. All the bath bombs are going to look like they come from a brand. So don't skim too much on your salt because you need it to cover quite a lot of space it just for the geode look and the first time I ever saw this design was actually a bath bomb that Lush used to do but it wasn't um, rose or anything it was Yuki He and it was an orange bath bomb that smelt like Lust perfume from um, Lush uh, so I think they were pretty much the first to do a geode bath bomb I know a lot of us think we were the first to create this or that um, but you know there's been a whole lifetime of people making products before we started YouTube and Facebook and everything because I've been round for quite a long time I know there were brands before we started and Lush invented the bath bomb so that means there weren't any such thing as a bath bomb before Lush created them because when you trademark something or patent something the patenters look to see if the product's ever been made before. So you can be listed as the official first creator of a product. That's what patents and trademarks are all about. Proving that you were the first. And protecting your intellectual property so I'm talking about doing all pastels but I am going to do a kind of deep uh, blue because I think that will look absolutely gorgeous as a geode similar to my gloves actually more of that gorgeous violet blue that I love 
so much. Alright, so I'm going to continue pressing these rose um, geodes because I'm doing multiples all in one video I don't want to bore you with the manufacturing of every single one that I make so I'll be back soon okay it's time to add the gold rim around the top which is what makes this look like a geode so I've got rubbing alcohol in here I've got bright gold mica and I've got eco sparks gold dust all mixed up you've got to give it a stir every time you pop your brush in there and then you just tap it around the edge tap some of the salt and some of the bath bomb I always think it looks a bit more authentic if you if you do it on both the salt and the bath bomb and that's what your geode bath bomb looks like isn't it beautiful I absolutely love it and that's one of the reasons I've decided to do a lot of my bath bombs in the geode design now I haven't done all of the bath bombs in the geode design I am keeping some with the flowers on for example the sunflower uh, I wonder what this would look like with a bit of gold. Hmm, I feel like I'm going to spoil it. I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm doing the blackberry fizz. I'm also doing that in a geode style as well. And then this one looks like amethyst look at the difference the gold makes it just makes it pop and looks just so much better so I'm going to continue doing this on on all my bath bombs and then once we've got probably eight or nine different bath bombs then I'll come back and show you what they all look like together okay so there we have our finished geode bath bombs we have on the bottom right blackberry fizz middle Seychelles paradise to the left it's angel skin and I've redone the snow fairy I think it looks awesome this one is magical fun land so it's meant to remind you of that beautiful magic kingdom and this one here is fresh cut rose uh, this is the new um, new look sunflower bath bomb how weird does that fluorescent look? I mean, it's really performing, isn't it? It's really showing up its colour and brightness. And then over here, we have um, Flirtatious, which is basically Love Spell, the perfume. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's great to be back with you all. And I'm going to try and get videos up, at least a little one every day because uh, I know you've missed me and I've missed you. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.